I believe you have seen it before and if you have not, my name is Baja and I make DIY home decor videos on a budget. I like to have home decor things set something that I can make on my own, that looks aesthetic, it looks modern and of course it doesn't cost me my fortune. So I like to make those type of videos, I like to create those type of things and if you are into the same kind of videos, if you like to watch those, you will definitely love the videos that I have posted on my channel. Don't forget to check out right after this video, you will absolutely love it and let me get started with today's video. So today's video is one of my favorite, favorite topics that is about texture art. Now if I look back, I posted a video about texture art that was trending last year. I think I've received the most views on that and thank you so much for that. This year, I was going through some TikToks and recently I've been looking on some textured art videos and I figured out there are new techniques that you can use with textured art, you can make flowers and many other things apart from some geometrical design like arc or many, many things that you can try from that. So I already posted a few videos on that. I tried to make two layer textured art and some of them required a palette knife, some of them did not. I, and I'm gonna put all of those videos in my description section below. Today's video is way different than any other videos that I've posted for textured art. It's about using the same piece of textured art and making flowers without any tool. All you need is panel, brush, and textured art paste. I did not take any classes or workshop for that. I learned that on my, on my own. This was my first ever texture art that I was, I was trying to make from watching TikTok and Instagram reels and that turned out pretty well. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a texture art piece just as usual. If you have missed before, you will get to see in here. And apart from that, from last year's video with some geometrical texture art patterns, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you flowers, leaves, those kind of designs. I hope you will enjoy. And let me get started with today's video. So to get started, I got this wood panels from Dollar Store. They were $2 for three panels and it comes in a pack of three. So it was wonderful for me to try it on. It was the first time that I was trying on textured art this way so I felt this is good to have smaller size wood panel and this is new addition to Dollarama so once I got the panel I started to paint them in white color to make my textured art on top of that I gave it nice two coats and let it dry in between for one to two hours and my panel was ready to have textured art on top of that You can make two or three as much as layer that you feel comfortable with but we are going to make one more layer with white paint after our textured art is completely dry so that's gonna vanish off all the imperfections that you can see in the background now to get started with textured art I search for line art rose line art floral and many other searches on Google and Pinterest to get the perfect line art that I was hoping for. Once I had my line art ready, I started to draw that on my panels lightly with the pencil. I had to keep in mind that my textured art paste might not end up looking like this just the way I'm drawing it right now. Pencil has a thin point while my textured art was pretty thick and I was going to work with it with my brush. This outline is just to give it a bit of a reference that how I should be putting my textured paste and that's it. To make a textured paste, I had one cup of speckling compound and I added one fourth cup of white school glue and if you have not seen my recipe before I'm gonna put the link in the description section below for you to have the measurement and exact idea how to make texture paste I mixed it so well 
and there were no lumps and it was all completely mixed up after a minute. Then I took my Ziploc bag and I put my paste on corner of the Ziploc bag. So as you can see here, the texture art paste shouldn't be too runny. It should be perfect amount of thick. So you can actually put it on the canvas paste and you can use water later if you feel like it. Before you seal the cone for your textured art paste, give it a nice massage so it can get rid of bubbles and any kind of lumps. And I did not have anything specific to tie my cone with. So I tied it with my hair tie and I was ready to use it. I made a cut on the cone and I started to put the textured art paste with that corner onto my outlines that I already made before starting it. This is a real time video that I'm going to be showing you how much time did it take for me to work on that. This is not fast forward video. This is a real time video just to give it an idea how fast it can work or how slow you can make it if you like. Once I had my outline ready, I had a bowl of water and I had a tiny brush as well to work on my textured art. I took a tiny bit of water and started to smudge my inside edge to the center of the flower. Now, if you take too much water, just like I did on the first time, it will not show textured fine lines, which actually you need for this art. You don't have to use much water. This is just to keep your brush wet. And if you feel like you want to clean the brush in between, that will be the better idea to work around that because that will give more texture to the flower. So basically, you want to leave thick edges on most of the part and you want to smudge the tiny part onto the inside of the flower. Now, this was the part I was really sure about. So to get started, I put dot of texture paste on each flower petal and started to smudge them inside of the flower or to the, towards the center of the flower with my small brush. As you can see here, I did not use any amount of water in that because petals itself were bit tiny and if i use water that probably get mixed up all together probably doesn't show textured lines so just to avoid that i did not use water at all but i kept cleaning my brush in between so that gave me a clarity how i should work on that and i also made stem as well and after my first layer was dry I made another layer with same trick but with the remaining parts of the flower and I smudged them all together towards the center part of the flower so basically I made two layers of same pattern just to give it a bit more extra texture now this was the best one just because I got hands on to two flowers, this was the third flower that I was working on. So I started with outside petals first. The reason is because inside is a pretty small and probably it get messy when I start from inside and go towards outside. So I started working on big petals first and then I was going and then I was going to go towards the center part of the flower. So as you can see here, I'm not exactly following the lines that I made because when you put texture paste in real, it doesn't show up as, as you're expecting. In that case, you probably just want to go how you feel like. You, you may just want to use a texture paste according to the design that you are trying to make and not following the lines. 
so i kept making flowers and petals until i got my desired design and i was done with the rose art as well so i made three floral textured art daisy lily and rose let me know which one did you like the most i hope you've enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment subscribe on the channel and i will see you in the next one